is here. It's here, it's here. It's, it's here, it's here. <laughs> I do need all these sacks. I thank my sister for grabbing this for me. So I was due for an upgrade, so I decided let's go ahead and let's upgrade. And my new phone is finally here. I'm gonna surprise y'all with what it is. Unless, of course, you are people who know how to read and have already read what the title of this video is. Ha! I need a knife. There we go. Good thing it had a cork on it. That would have been embarrassing if it didn't. <laughs> you see, we're gonna be meticulous. We're going to be meticulous. Or as meticulous as we can possibly be. <laughs> we'll save these guys for later. Let's see. And this was from Sprint. That's spelled T M O B I L E. Sprint. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put that right there. I said we'll save these guys for later. And bam! <laughs> it's the new iPhone mini. The new iPhone mini. And it comes in white. See? All iPhones, they come in white. That's what color box is. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's see. I can't read this. I need my glasses. Glasses. Ha. Now, let's see. This includes the iPhone 12 mini and the USB-C to lightning cable. Power adapter and headphones are sold separately. We're going to do this. Actually, why do I even need this? You know what? This thing has a tag on it to pull it. I still want to cut it. <laughs> you can cut it. Can I cut it? <laughs> and here we are. It's the, it's the, it's the little, little one. It's so little. It's so, hey, it's just like me. I'm Rush Little. And this is Little, and it came in a rush. <laughs> Got my cable. <laughs> Got my papers. Ugh, here, we're going to put this back on here so nobody stick me for my papers. Man, why are they trying to stick me for my papers? All right, here, look. Put that back. <laughs> yeah. What's so cool? I got the white one because... Until I get a phone case, I don't want to see any fingerprints. I don't want to see the fingerprints. I don't want to see 4x6 prints. And I definitely don't want to see the artist formerly known as prints. So we're going to turn this on. Rush. Dude, 
Seriously. What you talking about? What is the name of this show? This is Saxophone Improv with Korg Gadget. So, if this is Saxophone Improv with Korg Gadget, why are you doing an unboxing of a phone? You know, but... Is this some sort of relaxation unboxing show? No. Are you I rush now? No. Is this RPJ Kingdom HD? No. Okay, how about this? How about I pass this phone over to you and you do something with Core Gadget involving that? Okay, I can go for that. Pass it over. Okay, fine. Here, let me, let me turn it. Pass it over. No, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's get down to what we do. Come on. Pass it over. Pass it. Thank you. Y'all know, this is Saxophone Improv with Korg Gadget. I might unbox a keyboard, but if I unbox a phone, I probably got a good reason to do it. This... The new iPhone 12 mini. It's actually a pretty powerful phone in a very, very, very small package. Now, I still have my iPad Pro. I'm still going to be using my iPad Pro. I love my iPad Pro. Am I going to do a comparison between this and the iPad Pro? No! Uh-uh. That's not what kind of show this is. Plus, there's things that iPad Pro can do that the iPhone can't, and there's things the iPhone can do that an iPad, that an iPad Pro can't. Despite the fact that both of these are 256 gigabytes, I got the 256, that's 256. Um, this has the A12Z chip in it, but this one has the new A14. Both of these are very powerful. So who says I couldn't do Core Gadget from here? In fact, this does better on Korg Gadget than my iPhone 6, and it does a little bit better, just a little bit, just a little bit better than my iPad Mini did. So let's do a little bit, let's let's do a little bit of um Korg Gadget, saxophone improv from Korg Gadget from, from this phone. And I got the white, like I said, no fingerprints. Okay, so we're gonna put that there. In fact, how about we go, since we're doing the mini, how about we go complete mini? Let's get my, um, let's get my Triton Tactile 25 back. <laughs> now, for this, since I'm not using the iPad Pro, I'm going to need the um, I'm going to need to plug everything up into the phone for that camera connection kit. And back here, I know you can't see it. Back here, I got a um, a powered hub. I'm just going to unplug the powered hub. Plug that into here. Plug it right up into the phone. Run the screen, run the screen, run the screen. We're going to run the screen, run the screen. Record the screen. Where's my screen record button? Screen record button's not on this one. Oh, I had a program button. Done. So now, bam. And going. To 
catch it. There we go. Now, my screen real estate, of course, is going to be smaller, but it's a much smaller, compact, you know, much more compact size, which means that something like this, you can fit in your pocket. So you can take something like this on a gig with you and just simply pull it straight out your pocket. You know, as opposed to needing some big bag. It's all about how you want to do your business, how you want to run things the way you run it. Okay. All right. Now, for some reason, and I hadn't figured that out yet. When I figured that out, I'll just get back to you. But for some reason, on here, Gadget works and Module works, but Module doesn't work inside a Gadget. That, I haven't figured that out yet. When I figure that out, I'll get back to you. One of the things I do know is um, on the iPhone, on any iPhone, it wouldn't matter if you had this one or, or any of the other ones. While Gadget would still work, um, what is it called? Um, the IM1, which is the Darwin Gadget, is not available on iPhone. So if you have anything on your iPad that uh, used the uh, M1 gadget, you know, or used basically the Darwin gadget, it won't be available on your iPhone. You know, so that, that's, that's a terrible loss, but it's not something that'll stop us. So let's see what kind of things we can do with this. I guess it would help if I actually set my module to London. Bet. Everything works. Bet. There we go. Now, none of what I had before, none of what's in here, none of my sets are in here. I actually would have to, if I wanted to put the sets I had in here, in this, um, you know, in this one, whatever sets I had in here, if I wanted to put that in here, I'd have to open up something where I use the set and save it. But once I save it, now that set's in here. But... I don't care about that today. I'm just going to change this to a snare drum I actually like. I don't like that verbi snare. I do like the cuts. There we go. Change that open hi-hat to something I like. Let's see. Change the open hi-hat to something I like. Cindy, where are you? Cindy, where are you? Cindy, did I pass you by? While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. I think I passed her by twice. Oh no, that's the closed hi hat. I want the open hi hat. No wonder I'm missing it. Open hi hat. Whoops. Okay, I don't know what I actually want to change that to. There we go. And let's change number seven to some sort of uh, D1LT. What's that? Keep that. 
So now we got something we can mesh. Now we got something we can play with. Let's begin. <laughs> bring my tempo down. Bring tempo down to quarter note equals 85. Now, let's go back into this. Give me a good four bar pattern. Let's play. Let's play with a metronome. Now, I messed up, but undo. <laughs>
good when I do that. Now that's one of those things that you're gonna come across using a small screen like this. I accidentally hit stop when I was when I was aiming for record, but it happened. gadget inside of gadget and the phone wouldn't recognize it I figured out the problem and I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how to do it real real quick also on this video uh, the issue is if you already have a Korg gadget and you have like some of these other ones such as for example I have the uh, Electribe gadget you know uh, I got that one when I opened that one up that automatically came over the gadget it just asked if it could be installed uh, I had uh, the IR Odyssey that automatically opened up in gadget module is different because module is not just one gadget module has like four five six gadgets so 
with module, if you already have module, when you go to Core Gadget, let me go ahead and I'm going to pull this up. Let's do a screen recording. Screen recording is now opening up Gadget. Okay. Now I'm also going to open up. I'm going to open up module and make sure that I have everything in module. Okay. Now I'm opening up module. Let's turn it this way. I'm going into um, settings. Okay. Nope. It's not settings. That's my fault. Uh, store ha your items and I want to select restore to make sure that um, everything is downloaded and we're going to go ahead and download everything I already purchased gadget screen all the different gadgets go all the way down to where you see gadgets from Korg module now it says buy and you've already bought it because it's already you know module pro is already on your um, iPhone this might say buy but ignore that part and just click on it anyway when you do that you'll see at the bottom where it just says install it just switched to install why because you already bought it once you do that then it brings everything over this is what I neglected to do before and this is why it wouldn't work before but now that I have all of that the electric piano module that I was trying to use the there was trying to use before that wasn't working it's here now and it's working and it works just fine so uh, that's how that was the mistake that I made before and that's how you can get a module to work inside gadget in your um, in in your iPhone all the other gadgets just automatically work uh, for example the iMonopoly iMonopoly which I don't know if you all saw, I had downloaded that one while it was here. I'd already purchased that. That's Montpelier. Automatically works. It's already here. See? I didn't have to do anything special with that. Module, however, since module is more gadgets than just one, you have to go in and tell it um, that we're bringing all of those over. That solves that problem. That's the mistake that I 
um, made before and now that everything's solved you can actually do everything on your iPhone and have everything set up so it's almost like having your iPad or having gadget on your iPad in your pocket now if Korg is watching this Korg please make the IM1 or Darwin gadget available for iPhone you know if it had its own uh, sequencer built into it you know one might say that it could compete with gadget you know but don't do that I like gadget <laughs> okay I like gadget don't don't make it so that okay well we're gonna do this so you don't even have to have gadget no 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 I like gadget I also like the IM1 I like Darwin so make Darwin available for iPhone that way I can use it either one you know and that's the solution to that problem my name is Rush Little the third and I again prove that again solves that problem and again my name is Rush Little the third and I again approve this message <laughs>